on this lesson we'll be speaking on currency characteristics and the topics that we'll cover is the majors the crosses and the exotics the pair characteristics and picking currency pairs to trade the first topic that we're covering is currency characteristics currency have correlations between one another usually usd strength is visible against both euro pound and AUD and New Zealand dollar. Currency triangle. If you have two currency pairs and doubting between the two, check the cross of it. Meaning that if you are trading Euro US dollar or AUD US dollar, you can take a look at Euro AUD. Well, what does that mean? What do we mean? Okay, meaning is that if Euro AUD, Euro Australian dollar is in an uptrend motion, uptrend direction. And if you're trading U, EU, meaning Euro US dollar, it's long, it's an uptrend similar to the euro aud and aud us dollar is in short it's going the opposite direction and if you're looking at euro aud being in a downtrend so trading euro us dollar is short meaning that the euro is it's, it's the euro is losing strength euro is going short losing strength and then aud euro is long meaning that what aud is gaining strength in that aud Australian dollar is gaining strength, euro is, is, is losing strength. That's what it means. That's what the crosses mean. And one thing that I like is that you like you don't like don't don't use this as sort of like a signal. Don't say just because you're buying Euro AUD and then now you, you you're selling AUD USD. Shouldn't work that way instead, but then look for the setups that they are provided. It's sort of like a it it, it, it gives you clarity on the sentiment of the of the pay. And now if you look at uh, Euro U, US dollar, AUD US dollar, Euro odd, a currency, okay, a currency triangle, yeah, we saw that, we noticed how, how they work. EU and AU not moving, meaning that Euro US dollar and AUD US dollar could not be moving, like ranging or something like that, but then Euro AUD could be flying. Euro AUD could be impulsing and Euro US dollar and AUD US dollar could be correcting. That's what it means. That's why I say don't use this. Just because you're buying the one doesn't mean you have to sell the one exactly. But wait for it to give you clarity on, 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 on where the market is going. Okay. Now let's look at this. We've got the main currency, which is the US dollar, the Euro, the Japanese and the pound. Okay. On our first column right here, we've got the ma major currency pairs. The major currency pairs it's your euro us dollar your pound us dollar your us dollar japanese yen your us dollar swiss franc now if you take a look at this we have got the major crosses of the major currency pairs meaning your euro aud your pound aud your pound new zealand dollar and your euro new zealand dollar you've got your euro pound Pound, these are your major crosses. You've got your pound, your pound Japanese, your Euro Japanese, your AUD Japanese, and your New Zealand Japanese. And the side we've got your USD catch, dollar Canadian. Now, if you take a look at your exotics, exotics, Euro PLN, USD C Z K. I don't I don't trade exotics, so I don't know much of them. Meaning that you can see here it says each pair has certain unique 
or special features. These are your these are examples of your exotics. There's a lot of them. There's a ton of them, but then these are example of them. And the spread the spread of exotics are, are, are wide. The spreads are very wide. So now if you take a look at commodity currencies, commodity currencies meaning that your pound dollar, your AUD dollar, your New Zealand dollar, your US dollar CAD, your US dollar Japanese yen, these are commodity currencies, specifically CAD, AUD, NZD. So those are your commodity currencies. And now if you look at capital flow currencies, meaning your Euro US dollar, your pound dollar, your US dollar Swiss franc, and your US dollar Japanese yen. These are your capital flow, your capital, meaning that these ones are moved by commodities. They're moved by commodities and these ones are moved by capital flow. Are moved, the, we get more volatility from the capital flow of the specific currency, get more volatility from the commodity, the commodity. Okay, now let's look at the next page. Okay, now we've got the pay characteristics. Meaning that we've got your euro US dollar. Let's look at the euro US dollar. It's the most traded pay. It's negatively correlated with US dollar CHF, US dollar Swiss, and positively correlated with the pound dollar. Meaning that if um euro US dollar is moving up, US dollar Swiss is moving down, and it moves likely it moves similar with the pound dollar. Average broker spread is 0 0.5 and 2 pips. This is the average broker spread. Meaning that if you are uh, if you had to choose a broker play around this this average broker spread don't choose a broker that offers way more spread size so now let's look at the best time to trade is the london session meaning that if it's the best time to trade it, it gives better setups at the london session and it's more aggressive at the london session trade suitable to new, new traders and advanced traders daily average moves from 60 to 100 pips it moves from 60 it's the daily average daily doesn't mean that it moves 600 pips daily you can move 250 pips a day i i recently experienced uh, a trade like that and it doesn't mean that yeah it moves 600 but then this is the average the daily average pips and the factors which affect the euro dollar we've got the interest rate differential between the european central bank ecb and the federal reserve fed meaning that if the news are coming out if the news are coming out and it's the fed or the ecb the, they are more likely to affect the euro dollar and the dollar strength drives the euro us dollar lower the dollar strength if us us dollar is gaining strength going up okay let me let me draw this here if dollar is going up gaining strength dollar is going up gaining strength okay here is gaining strength you can see why we say the dollar strength drives the euro lower the sun goes down and okay the fed intervention to weaken the dollar Euro USD higher. The Fed interview to week.
in the dollar cents will be higher. It's the vice versa of the one that I showed you guys. Okay, now let's look at the pound dollar. The pound dollar, we've got yet, it's the most traded pair along with the euro dollar. I believe that it, oh, most guys, when you guys start out, the, these are the first pairs that you're gonna start out with. And negatively correlated with the US dollar CHFs, US dollar CAD, US dollar Japanese, and positively correlated with the euro US dollar. I believe you know what that means. The average broker spread is one, is two, three. Is one, two, three. The average broker spread, meaning that shouldn't shouldn't look for 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 for, for a broker that provides spread that is way more than three. Um, daily average range is eight to two hundred and fifty pips, meaning that it's much more volatile than the euro dollar. It's much more volatile. It moves a bit more faster than the euro dollar. The best time to trade is the London session. You get your moves at the London session, and it's trading suitable to advance the expert traders. It's suitable to advance and expert traders. Okay, I've noticed this. It's more likely if you have uh, tight stop losses, it will take you. Be more likely to take you out. That's why they say it's more suitable to advance and expert traders. And before you can trade more on it, you can just back test it. Go back on your charts and and see what it does when it gets to support or resistance. So just back test the strategy. Or but we'll talk more on that. Okay. The factors which affect the pound dollar, the interest rate differential between the Bank of England, Bank of England and the Federal, the Fed. High yield and attractive growth in the UK drives GBP USD higher. The high yield and attractive growth, growth in the UK, growth in the UK, GBP goes high, US dollar goes down. Intraday trading, the pound dollar, very quiet during agent session, no moves. It's very quiet during agent session, meaning that other people have strategies whereby they need, uh, they, they utilize the ranging markets. So other people would be trading it only on the Asian session, Asian session. And many spikes up and down before Euro, Europe and London open. Okay, yes. Before the the Euro, the, the London session opens. Before the London session opens, Euro Euro just provides spikes, provides spikes, and often moves one hour, one often moves one hour, fifteen minutes in pause on the five minutes chart. Okay, you don't need to master all of this here, because this is the back test, the back test that was done and tested. But then now you can also do your own back test and, and understand it better, build a relationship with it. Okay, likes to break likes to break bottoms and tops by eight pips. Okay, doesn't necessarily have to be eight pips, but then it does likes to break tops and bottoms by approximately that amount. And highly impacted by news event at half past ten. Yes, yes, yes that's true. If you see on your on your on your calendar, there would be news that, that always appear. The pound news that always appear around half past ten, half past eleven, and it, it, since it's pound news, the, the 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 most likely affect our
pound doesn't necessarily mean to be to be pound dollar but then pound and since the the, the, the dollar is involved in this in this uh, symbol then it will also be affected now often the retraces deep 78.6 and also 88.6 Fibonacci it likes taking deeper corrections deeper corrections and breaks tops and bottoms a lot it breaks tops and bottoms a lot okay now let's move on to the next page pound US dollar is ranging in asian session 90 percent of the time move moves less than 30 pips from the top to bottom within first three hours of asian asian session meaning half past 11 pm to half past 2 am asian time and after after asian time it more it's more likely to break bottom or top after asian time it's more likely to break bottom or top exception a strong trade is in place on a higher time frame meaning that if you're moving on to a higher time frame you are able to spot the trend of the specific k with uh, the specific pay meaning the pound dollar okay pound dollar makes false moves before initial intentional move Pound dollar spikes up and down in the first two hours before choosing the direction. Yes, it likes playing around like that. It will spike up and down, play around with people, and you get caught up. If you get caught up on the wrong side of the market, you you are most likely to be taken out. And higher chance of sustainable trend in one direction after first two or three hours finish. Higher chance of sustainable trend in one or two after the the first three hours is finished. Yes, it's more likely to continue to 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 provide the the direction that we will continue in after the, those specific hours and chances of high market quieting down okay, let me remove those okay chances of high market or chances of high market quieting down after london close okay exception when there is a strong market trend when there's a strong market trend okay so now if you look at this chances of high market or chances high, chances are high of market quieting down after london close mean that after london after the banks are quiet banks are closed that's when you are more likely to see on dollar range Okay, now let's take a look at AUD US dollar. It's one of the most traded pairs. Negatively correlated to US dollar CAD, positively correlated to New Zealand CAD. Average broker spread 1.5 to 3 pips. Daily average range is 70 to 100 pips. Best time to trade is London session and Asian session. Trading suitable to advanced traders. Advanced traders. Doesn't mean that you don't have to backtest it. Go through it. Learn it, build a relationship with it, and then now you can be an advanced trader that trades AUD US dollar. And factors which affect AUD USD interest rate differential between the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, and the Fed. It likes to trend. It's a slow mover which makes it good for new traders. It's a slow mover which makes it good for new traders.
it respects four candle highs and lows, tops, bottom, it respects that. And the swap interest makes it attractive, meaning that you can get a positive swap when trading the AUD USD. Okay. Euro AUD. Massive trends and big moves. Pip distance are huge, very technically traded. Massive trends and big moves, meaning that it's more likely to have bigger drops, bigger impulses up or down. And pip dis distance are huge, meaning that uh, the, the spread is much more usual compared to the other ones. Very technically treated, meaning that it respects our technicality, our technical analysis. We've got the Euro Pound, one of the crosses. Extremely slow mover, could be good for traders with the job. Erratic movement, spikes and ranges. Spikes and ranges. Okay, now let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen ranges. Wages can take extremely long to break. Once in trending mood, currency tends to keep breaking and does not retrace deep. Okay, nice. Meaning that once in trading mood, instead of retracing deep, let me have something like this. Instead of it's trending, instead of retracing all the way up to here, it's more likely to retrace here and then continue. It's journey. And bull and bear flag flags are important with the Euro GB, JBP. Okay, bull and bear is you now I meant to say US dollar Japanese and yes, bulls and bear flags are more important. And it likes retracing up to level 23.6 to 38.2 Fibonacci levels. Fibonacci levels. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. We've got here. Okay, we've got here. It's, 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 it's a diagram where I choose. This side is the if and this side is then. Meaning that if gold goes up, we're expecting dollar to lose strength. If gold gains strength, AUD US dollar gains strength too. It follows it. Gold goes up. A NZD US dollar goes up too. Meaning that if goes gold goes up, US dollar goes down. And if you look here, USD is on the cold side, so it's going down. NZD is going up. Now gold is going up. USD is going down. You can see here. So USD is going down. It's alongside with Swiss franc. Gold is going up. USD carry is going down. Oil is going up, USD CAD is going down. Gold is going up, Euro USD is going up with it. It's going up with it. Code currency. Do Do Jones is going down. Nick Nick. Okay, these ones we don't use. Nick and US dollar Japanese yen. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Okay, now let's look at picking currency pairs to trade. Picking currency pairs to trade. Okay, we've got, um, let's say we have two choices here. Two, two choices, our first one and our second one. 
so you've got japanese yen us dollar japanese euro us dollar and gold gold is x a u u s d there we go there we go now here's our second choice we've got the pound new zealand we've got the euro aud we've got the us dollar japanese and we've got the cad swiss the cad swiss meaning that if you're about to choose currency pairs to trade if you're looking at two okay the the this is your first choice this is your second choice and you want to open trades now and to open three trades let's say three trades to run at the same time now okay let's look at the first choice would you choose the first choice yes or no from my side i would say no we wouldn't why is it so why wouldn't we choose the first choice meaning that we've got our japanese yen as the code here our japanese yen our us dollar and our us dollar so meaning that if you choose the first choice and you choose let's say three trades here to trade if it happens that this one goes against us this one will to go against us as you can see the japanese yen is what is gaining strength the japanese yen is so imagine you're buying this and you selling this if you buy in this okay let's look at you buying this meaning you're saying this one is going down this one is going down but then if you sell in this you're saying this one is going up this one is going up so you see how that affects the first choice how you choosing to treat like in the, in, the, in the scenario the first choice it's not suitable so now let's look at the euro us dollar gold meaning i mean the euro us dollar we've got the us dollar and gold it's xau usd meaning that if we buy euro us dollar and we buy gold we're selling the dollar we're selling the dollar meaning that if dollar goes in strength the dollar green strength both our trades are more likely to be in negatives both our trades are more likely to be in negatives okay i believe you saw that and now the best way is to choose the second choice meaning that we've got pound new zealand you've got euro aud it's not the same there's no it's not the same as this one there's no pay, i mean currency that's the same as this one and we've got the us dollar japanese us dollar japanese and we've got the cat swiss so here in this pay if any of the current the currencies you get affected by news or anything like that nothing's going to happen to if this one goes against you doesn't mean that this one is more likely to go against you that's what it means if let's say something happens in in, in, in the uk not nothing is going to get um nothing is more likely to get affected to affected because you don't you're not trading pound twice you're not trading pound twice so you can see it is the best choice to make is that to be involved in a pair that won't affect another pair be involved in a pair that won't affect another pair okay, we saw on the previous page it says that if gold goes up us dollars going down if gold goes up us dollars going down so imagine you're buying this and then you're buying this meaning that you're seeing gold is going up and us dollar is going up too that doesn't make sense even though it's possible you can do that your analysis can provide you something like that but okay, can you see what that means and the second choice is the best because there's not you don't your choices don't affect another pace